Tap, tap, tap in, collective. Welcome to my channel. I'm God's Major Oracle. You could call me Major Oracle. This is an 18 plus channel. Why? Because we never know what the cards are going to say or the reader. So YouTube trigger warning. Now, to all my returning subscribers, welcome back. To all my new subscribers, welcome home. Welcome to the family. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Join my soul tribe. Now, have you ever heard of a reader saying... They get bombarded with messages and it just keeps bothering them till they get that message out. Well, that's what is, what's happening with me right now and it's like bugging me. So I'm like, okay, let me just do this. So please, Father God, Holy Spirit, my spirit team, Archangel Michael, guide this read, protect me, put a divine protection over my soul tribe and over my workspace. In Jesus' name I pray. Now, when this feeling started happening, I looked at the clock and it said 222. Now you could be seeing 222 at this time. Don't have to be. You could be seeing numbers like 333, 444, like tripling numbers. Now, angel number 222 is the number that associates with balance, right? Collaboration, love, and harmony. For you to trust that everything is working out exactly how it is supposed to, with divine blessings for everyone involved, and let go and have faith. I keep hearing that too. Let go, let God. I keep hearing walk in faith and not in, he in fear. God does not want you to fear, especially what you hear in readings, because it's a warning. Now, I want to go into these channel messages real quick. Now, somebody here... You have an, an older child or a few older children. I'm being guided to tell you to let that child grow up. Let that child learn his or her lessons. Let that child basically do what they want to do because this is free will. You can't stop free will. It's their life, their choice. Once a child hits past 12 years of age, it's all on them. It's not on the parent when it comes to karma. Okay, somebody here, your kid is very hard headed and your kid is going to have to learn on their own. You can't save your kid from everything. All you could do is be there to support them when you see them falling back, you know, be ready to catch type of thing. That message is for somebody. Now, I also picked up on uh, someone wanted to know how you knew. How did you know? How did you know plan A? How did you know plan B? Someone's older female child, teen to young adult, you might need to put her on the pill because, or guide her to do so, because I heard plan B as well. Um, that message is for somebody. Now, how did you know is how these people that were working against you, they want to know how did you know? Because you're gifted, because you have intuition, because you're listening to God at this time. These people were very upset that their plans against your destiny did not work out. That message is for somebody. May your de destiny be protected in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, I got a lot of weird things happening. I always had a lot of weird things happening. For one, I'm being guided to tell you about this story. I had someone that passed away, and I was leaning on the car, just random car, and nobody was in the car. The car was off. All of a sudden, I asked a question. There was a man walking by me, and I said, are you okay? How are you? To the person that passed away that I knew. Then all of a sudden, the car radio turned on. As the man passed me, he looked down and he's like, did that car just turn on by itself? That's when I realized and it, it clicked on me to listen to what the car was saying, the music in the car. And it was Rihanna, Diamonds in the Sky. So when I asked the person that passed on, how are you? How is it there? You know, and the song said, we're like diamonds in the sky. You have a passed on loved one that watches over you. Now, I also had, I was at the store, randomly shopping for groceries. All of a sudden, a woman, she was fine. She was saying she was fine. Nothing's wrong. She was a friend with a friend. All of a sudden, the woman just collapses right in front of me. It's like your enemies are falling. Your enemies are falling in front of those that they do not want to fall in front of. And this is part of their karma for what they did to you. That message is for somebody. Now, I also was getting my nails done. And I told her, don't cut them down. And she cut them down because she made a mistake with the machine. I said, Zzz. And I caught that. I felt that when you, you know female. You, if you're a female, you know. You know? 
So I'm like, why did you do that? She's like, I didn't do that. You told me to cut them. I said, no, I didn't. Why are you lying in my face? Like this woman is sitting across from me, lying in my face. There's someone at this time lying in your face. And you know that this person is lying in your face. You could intuitively feel it. You, you could tell when someone's lying to you. Or someone could be lying about you. Take that as it resonates. Now she goes, oh, I wouldn't lie because a boss came over. So there's going to be an official checking up on someone that tried to work against you. Someone that um, lied to you, to your face or about you. That message is for somebody. Now, when I, the boss came and I told her, hey, yes, you did. She goes, no, I didn't. I would never lie. I'm Christian. Christians don't lie. I laughed in her face. I was like, well, you're the first Christian liar I've ever known because you just lied in my face. And then she's like, oh, I don't want to do her nails out because she was wrong. But she didn't want to admit she was wrong. So someone could be religious. Don't trust that. Just because they're religious doesn't mean they won't lie to your face. And then when she, she knew she was wrong, she tried to deny it. This person will deny that they were wrong and you were right. They will never admit that you were right. Somebody's now seeing that you were right. You're, it's like your your word is valid. Okay, it's like your word, and not only in the ethers, 5D, but in the 3D, your word is valid. Now, she didn't want to finish the job. So whoever did this could not finish the job. And the official person, there's an official person looking into this. And that person now realized that the person that tried to work against you or the people that tried to work, work against you, they're not valid. This is why they say, like, when you're a chosen one, listen and see where everything is happening around you because it's all factors in. It's like a divine message for you. You just got to learn how to decipher it. Now, so I said I was being peaceful about it because, you know, I kind of laughed it off. You need to laugh off this because you're protected. Let's claim it in the comment section. I am protected. I have divine protection over me. Claim it in the comment section now. So I just move over. And as soon as I move over to get my nails done by someone else, that woman started like snickering and like trying to even speak in a different language. So I don't understand, but I did understand her because I knew that language. So they were just there snickering. So you have people snickering, like laughing, pointing fingers, making fun. But see, those people that did that, those people that laugh now are going to cry later. Like 10 minutes into me getting my nails done again by someone else. And I get like someone else is going to come in to help you also. Now, she comes over to that other person and goes, oh, you remember that last girl? I did her nails and her friend, her co-worker was like, yeah. Well, the boss just said I had to pay for those nails because that girl's card was declined and I didn't do it right. So now I have to pay for that. Well, this person's going to have to pay for what they've done to you, collective. And it's going to be instant karma because I looked at that like instant karma. So that message is for somebody. Now, I also was on a boat, and the boat was shaking and rattling, shaking and rattling. Something could be significant about you going to the ocean, the lake, sea, the creek, the beach, the pool, some type of body of water, okay? Because there you're going to receive an, extent, an extension to your gifts. I feel like that's what happened to me. This is why I'm being bombarded with all these um, messages, and I'm also getting like when the f in, on the boat, when it rocked, a whole bunch of food just fell on the floor. And I took that like your enemies are falling and they're not only just falling, all their abundance is falling. People are losing money. People are losing their freedom. People are losing loved ones. Like spirit is on. I heard wrecking ball, like taking people down left and right, left and right. That is it's starting to be shocking to the community that worked against you. You're at this time, your spirit team your ancestors, and all the archangels, Archangel Michael, they're bringing your enemies down. And I keep picking that up, that God is going to anoint your head with oil. Your cup will overrun us, okay? Goodness and mercy shall follow you every day of your life. For he who believes in the Lord shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Well, you believe. And because you believe, you are in the divine protection, okay? And because... You believed in him even at your lowest points. You still screamed out for him. Regardless, you never denounced him. You never denied him. So I get like God gave 
spirit and the angels, the archangels, the green light. Go ahead. My baby's walking on their path. Go do what you got to do to protect that path. And that's exactly what's happening right now. I also get like someone is communicating with something or someone that they shouldn't communicate with. That message is for somebody. For somebody here, you commune or try to commune with the dead. You're, com you're not communing with what or who you think you're communing with. That message is for somebody. I'm also getting like communication, like someone is going to reach out to you to communicate with you. Do not accept this com communication because this person is trying to use that to set you up or to implement you in something. It's like if you stop and have a conversation with someone and you talk to someone, they could be recording you. That could be used as evidence. But I'm also getting like somebody wants to record and break down the audio. So it could say exactly what they want it to say. You ever heard, I just heard a tap. That's confirmation. See, this shit ain't funny. Now, this person wants to, so for somebody here, this person wants to, um, you to communicate with them. So you could say certain names and words. So they could take that audio and cut it up and edit it so that it's your voice saying something incriminating and... But it's really not you saying the things that they need you to say to incriminate you, if that makes sense. You're just talking. So even just talking to this person could incriminate you. You you know who this person is, or you will get a divine message who this person is. At this time, I'm also picking up like anyone from your past, let them go, leave them alone. Don't go backwards, go forwards. Don't dirty your new sneakers going down a new road, if that may, um, an old road, if that makes sense. Now, I also get like... I'm going to go into more messages. Now, I'm picking up, like, an old school friend, like a day one, like, um, your confidant. Like, somebody wants to come in from your past. Don't trust this so-called friend. This isn't really your friend. They run back and tell the wrong people the right things about you, if that makes sense. Now, I also picked up on, we can agree that something is something. We all have our own beliefs. We can agree to that, right, collective? We could we could agree to that. That something is something. Or there is something. You believe what you believe. I, collective, believe what I want to believe. And whoever else, they're going to believe whatever they want to believe, right? We can agree to that, right? Then that means that we all have a belief about something. Just the fact that we can agree that we have beliefs in something means that there's actually something to believe in, Right? It boom, mind blowing. That's like making a believer out of you type of thing. Now I also picked up like someone from the past. This could be a lover, family member, a friend. But I'm also picking up like this is an, a past lover. And this person has a message. This person said, I miss what we almost had. That message is for somebody. This person missed like what would I just heard woulda, coulda, shoulda. You know what I'm saying? I also heard love thine enemies, but I also get like you did love thine enemies. You love this past person that betrayed you. You love this past friend that betrayed you. You love this past family member that betrayed you. You already loved thine enemies. This was what was the problem. This is what would have took you out if you kept showing or giving those people thine enemies love. You actually loved your enemy at one point. And that's in the Bible. That's like one of the commandment type of rules. Love thine enemy, right? Now, I also have, you are your ancestor. You are a reincarnation of your ancestor. Your ancestor had to die so that you can live. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comment section. Now, then that means if you were born, then you was born because your, your soul was reborn, brought back to this earth. That means you had a past life. That means you had to pass away and you was a, a older person or who knows what, but whatever road that was, but you was a, another person in another life and you had to pass away to come back now. See, but you took on that mission. It's like back then you say, okay, God, you could take me now because I know I'm needed in the next level. Go right ahead. And God promised to you that your life would be abundant. You will be free of the law. You will be healthy and you will have love in your life. This is why some of you came back and you intuitively know that you're a twin flame. That that means you are an ancestor. You need to give big ups to yourself too. Now, I also heard time deposit account. But what's crazy is I do not know what a time deposit account is. Now, I'm going to 
look up what time deposit account means with you while we're here. Now, I play um, meditation copyright free music in the background that gets me into like my mojo. Now, a time deposit account is a savings account, is a bank account at like a retail bank. It's commonly like commonly featured a limited number of withdrawals. I get like you would or you should have received a time deposit account. Someone left you a time deposit account. Now this time deposit account has grown and I heard tripled. Now doubled, tripled. This account has tripled and this account was supposed to be given to you at a certain age. But those that wanted to take what you had, they kept this a secret. Now I wanna go a little bit more into what this is. Now, the most common example of a time deposit account is the certificate of deposit. Now, where there is no limit to the number of withdrawals, there's also like a record being kept of withdrawals. They're money without penalty. Somebody is withdrawing money that belongs to you and they feel like they're not going to get any penalty. But God is about to, and I heard, flip the script, flip the tables, turn tables, like turn the tables on this person. It says they may, however, use the time deposit account as a collateral for a bank loan. Someone could have taken a bank loan under your name. This message is for somebody. You are under divine protection. And because of that, you have many blessings coming. You have to believe in the law of attraction. This is why I post what I post. To help you believe in the law of attraction. I am abundant. I am happy. These are claiming affirmations are for you to claim this abundance. To help you get energy to bring this thing into you. You know what I'm saying? That message is for somebody. Now... I also got, let me just make sure. Oh, this was crazy. Someone, some of your exes are ugly. Some of your exes are vain. Some of your exes caused you pain. Some of your exes are lame. And some of your exes are one in the same. Some of your exes are loose in the brain. And some of your exes put you through shame. And some of your exes was too soon to came. And some of your exes can shoot but can't aim. And some of your exes ain't on your lane. Some And some of your exes just want to gain. And this is about someone's ex. Now, someone's mother does not want you to be in a relationship with their child. This is a whole different other message. This message is for somebody. So was the last. Because she's afraid that you will say something to that child of theirs. It's like you have an intuitive feeling for somebody here. You you are like a psychic or you're some type of an oracle. There It says adult child. This person does not want you or their adult child to be with you because this person knows that you could read them. And she doesn't. And I heard she and her doesn't want their adult child to know about a secret that is being kept. She knows that you're very intuitive and that you're gifted. So she's doing and saying everything that she can to keep you guys apart because she is scared what you will reveal to your past person about his or her own mother or father and what vision of this parental unit has to that adult child. This parental unit does not want that child, that older child, to look at them in a harsh way. But she's scared that you will tell about what part she played in their childhood trauma that your person had went through in the past. And what part did the mother play in this trauma or the father played in this trauma? There's no gender in card reading. You put the roles where they fit. Now, this parent does not want you to tell your past person what part they played in their childhood trauma whether it was physical or it was sa abuse okay but you see it you know it and i picked up on that i it's like if i was looking through the mother's eyes and i'm changing the child's diaper but there was red stuff youtube trigger warning in that diaper this is what i saw in my mind's eye my third eye and 
also that she knew that this, this was going on for a while because she was the one changing the diapers. So she knew this was going on for a while, but she never said nothing because she wanted to continue to receive money for your past person or some type of abundance she was gaining. Or it's like, I get like somebody was paying off a parent hush money to not say anything to anyone that that other person was causing childhood trauma to her own child. If that makes sense, God, please protect all the children in Jesus name. That's like, that kind of like hit, you know what I'm saying? I'm also, I also got, you're the type of person that you stand on business. So spirit is standing on business for you because you stood 10 toes down. This is why you're getting what you're getting. And if you doubt it for one second, then why should it be given to you? Strongly believe that it is coming because it is coming. Okay, that message is for somebody. Now, someone passed from an overdose or someone will. Someone is starting to use syringes, if you if that makes sense to you. And someone is getting into a bad accident. Someone's drinking and behind the wheel, if that makes sense. Somebody is going through major karma, big time. Someone even was accused of something that they didn't do, but because they owe you karma, they have to go through all the trials and tri tribulations on the 3D. And I kept hearing crows. The crows are talking. What do the crows are do? They talk in secret. And, and what do crows, like a group of crows is called? A group of crows are called a murder, right? So... It's like someone's talking, but they're not supposed to. Someone's talking or someone realizes that you know more than what you should know. And that goes part of your gift. And these people are scared in this community. I also, um, again, I'm, I said this in the last video, but God doesn't want you to fear. God doesn't want you to be afraid. In the Bible, do not be afraid and do not fear. It's in the Bible 365 times. We have 365 times in a year. God doesn't want to, for you to worry at all. Just put it in his hands. You know what I'm saying? That message is for somebody. Now, I also got someone made. Hold on. Just want to read through my notes. Okay, now I picked up on someone is mad that they had to leave somebody that they wanted to be with for a situation that they do not want to be in. So it's like your person wants to be with you, but if there's a third party situation, your person hasn't left that third party situation, but your person is acting like they did, if that makes sense. But this is a type of situation. It's like your person is doing the same thing to that person that they did to you. Your person is putting that person on the shelf and waiting to see if you will come play with them. And if you don't, then that person, your past person, is going to go back to the shelf and take that toy back down and start playing with that toy. Now, I also pick up like, you don't want to deal with this past person because this past person has a past person. And for as long as this person has a past person, you ain't dealing with them. But it go it, it, it flips because your past person wants to deal with you, but ain't going to deal with you until that past person knows that you're going to stay. Then they will let go of their past person, the third party. So before I get with you, you want to play with me and you want to say you want to be with me, but you still got shorty on the side on reserve and shorty's willing to stay on the side and on reserve because she's a pick me, pick me kind of biatch, right? A needy kind of biatch. But you want me to come in and prove to you that I'm going to be with you for you to leave that person alone? But you telling me a lie again by you saying that you're not with that person, but you still keeping that person to the left of you type thing? A hitter, somebody you just hit? You know what I'm saying? Hit it and quit it type thing? Nah, we ain't secondhand over here. We ain't third fiddle over here. This is what this person is trying to do to you, your past person. Is this person is testing the waters, coming towards you to tell you that they're not dealing with the ex no more, or their baby mama or baby daddy or wife, and come back to you like, you know, they want you, but depending on your answers, depending on whether they cut off that person or not, because that person is still there. They still have them strung, you know, lingering in the wind. Now, someone here, you've been um, feeling tired because you are under a spiritual attack. 
You need to take measures and protect yourself. That's a message that I got. That message is for somebody. I say cleanse every day. You can even take an egg, wipe it all around you, breathe on it, put it from your crown of your head to the tips of your toes. Go outside to a crossroad and throw it in the middle of the crossroad and say whatever was sent to me, I send it back. But while you're walking away, do not turn your back. Keep walking straight because whatever was put on you is going to see you and follow you again. But God is going to cloak you the minute you turn around. And that thing is going to go back to sender. Whatever was sent to you is going to go right back to sender. That message is for somebody. Now, someone here asks, why do they deal with narcissistic people? Why do they have to deal with narcissistic relationships? Well, the reason why you had to deal with narcissists and narcissists, like narcissist relationship, narcissist family, narcissist friend, any kind of these people is because you had to learn what a narcissist is. It's because you put up with too much of it from every angle. And this kind, this kind of like you trying to save people was going to hurt you in the long run. So God needed to show you what a narcissist really is so that you can know in the near future that like, okay, this person reminds me of that jelly girl. So Hmm, yeah, I'm not going to trust this person because this person moves just like that person. This person reminded me of that narcissist in my life. Or when you get a new friend or a new lover or hold up. This person is giving me the same vibes that my past narcissist gave me. Let me not go down that dirty road. The reason why you keep dealing with narcissistic people is so that you can learn what a narcissistic person is. So you never go towards a narcissistic person again. You wonder why these people come like you have to deal with all these bad people. And you even ask God, like, why? God, why? We're not supposed to ask why. We're supposed to learn why so that the lesson can stick with us. So we no longer deal with those kind of people, places, and things. Okay? That message is for somebody. I also heard, I want you back, my first love. you the first person I ever loved. And this, I get emperor in the reverse. Okay? Energy. This is something that you want, like something that you want to look back on. You might want to look back on this. You look at this person like they're a king, but they're really a knight. And this person is on the reverse. And if they're a knight, they're, then they're a page on the reverse. I hope that makes sense. Now, the emperor on the reverse, it talks about immaturity in matters of love and relationship. Your person, this person I'm talking about is very immature. This could manifest as a challenge with the... And the commitment of loyalty, like this is going to be a challenge for this person to commit and to be loyal. This is what the Emperor card represents on the reverse. It's like you can't establish a meaningful connection due to the behavior of this Emperor on the reverse. It's like I'm getting like, he's the fault, the reason why you're not together. And if you're a man flip the rose. There's no gender and card reading. Then she's the reason why you're not together. Very childish, immature person, someone that's vain, someone that loves attention, like a straight attention whore. Okay. If that makes sense. Now I want to go back into some channel messages. This person wants you back. I'm telling you, somebody doesn't want for you to break their heart. It's like this person broke your heart, and now this person is scared that you're going to break their heart. This person is scared of rejection, to be rejected by you again. And it's like you hurt this person's ego, and you're the only person that has ever done this to that person. This person, is his ego is as big as a, a skyscraper type of person. And you chopped them at the knees, and they just came coming down like a Roman candle. You know what I'm saying? This person hates that. I also get like somebody's feeling depressed. You could be feeling depressed. Someone is feeling depressed over you. Some or you could be picking up on this energy. Someone doesn't know how to love themselves since they were young. They didn't know how to love themselves. They didn't know how to love you. They realize how could they love themselves? Well, how could they love you if they don't love themselves the way they should correctly? This person is now trying to love themselves so that you can see it, so that you can feel it, so that you will know that they're loving themselves now so they can now love you. But I get like this person is still in training. You know what I mean? Like holla at me when you a master about loving yourself. Like you you ain't gonna budge like you ten toes down for yourself. Now, 
Somebody's trying to figure themselves out. Someone's trying to figure you out so that they could come forward. And it's like they're starting to click like they have to have self-worth in order to come towards a divine masculine or divine feminine. You are divine collective. I am royalty. Do not treat me like a peasant. I am royalty. If God is my father, then that means and he, if he's the king of all kings, the, the Lord of all lords, then that means I'm an heir to that. That means I am royalty, too. That means I'm his princess. I'm a queen in my own right. So then don't don't treat me any less than this person knows this too, because it's starting to click that if they don't have self-worth, then you don't want to deal with them. Now I get like, now that they have, that ego came down. It's like somebody had an ego death. This person now realizes that they had a huge ego. A and I heard large ego when they came to you and dealing with the situation with you. They realize now that they need to have self-worth and not only in themselves with you. They have to have self-worth while they're with you and without you. That message is for somebody and you that should be for you too. have self-worth within yourself, whether you with your ex or not, whether you with somebody or not. Don't let a person dictate to you or a relationship or family member or a friend or a situation in life or a bump in the road dictate to you your self-worth. And I hear that, that, that old school movie, I is smart, I is beautiful, I is important. Say it with me, collective. Say it with me. I am smart. I am beautiful. I am protected by God. I am loved by the divine. I am smart. Keep saying it to yourself. It's about affirmations. It's about what you attract into your life. It's like somebody, I bumped into somebody in the elevator and then that person goes, um, damn, I forgot something in my house and I got to go back and get it. And we're still in the elevator and this person, I don't know this person, this person's just random. And I'm like in a random place and I go, you know what? You need to be happy that you remembered while you were in the elevator and not a block away. And it's like at that moment, I felt like I gave that person some type of strength, some type of inspiration. Because that person was like, damn, you know, you're right. Like, it's like you need to count your blessings, if that makes sense. And that, that message is for somebody. Somebody here needs to know because you feel like things keep happening. It's because you have to keep your mind clear. Let's say you go out and one thing happens and then you go out and another thing happens. Every time you go out, something is happening. It's about the law of attraction. If you go outside and you go out walking and you a scary person, then scary things are going to happen. But if you walk outside with convictions and you stand strong, stand 10 toes down for yourself and you keep a positive mindset, like I'm going to walk down this block and I'm going to be safe. And I'm going to walk down the next block and I'm going to be safe. And I'm going to go do this or that and I'm going to be safe. I'm going to be protected because I'm divinely protected. Again, this goes back to what you are thinking and the law of attraction. You need to vibrate high. And that's exactly what I keep picking up. You are a protected person. Then nothing will happen if you're truly divine and you're on your north node or you're walking that path as a light worker. You will truly be protected. Like someone need, here needs to know that you need to stop walking around scary. It's yes, you have being watched like somebody is watching somebody i get like somebody's trying to track somebody i get like someone is sending entities to enter other people so they can hurt you if that makes sense but no if you walk in the light of god then you are protected nothing can come forward I, and i just kept hearing that no weapon form against me shall prosper the weapon is formed no weapon that is formed that means no even if the weapon is formed against you Nothing's going to happen to you because it will not prosper because God will not let it prosper for as long as you vibrate high. That message is for somebody. Now, don't let bad things consume your mind, okay, collective? Walk like you're wearing an armor because you are. Somebody wants to cause you pain, the kind of pain that you could have never healed from is what I heard. I heard never. Like this person wanted to do something to you that you would have never healed from. The kind of pain that you couldn't come back from is what I'm picking up on. 
Now this person's karma is to have that same pain now. They have this pain that they couldn't heal from. They can't come back from. They are also feeling this pain of loss. And I get a loss of losing you. Their karma is this message, is what I'm picking up on. And you know exactly who I'm talking about. I hope this helps. This message is for somebody. Someone here, your past person, is about to go through a major change because that person they were dealing with, they no longer deal with. That person, but it's like that person is bitter and mad and spiteful that you're going to, like, surpass them. I also get, like, someone's person, their past person is going to set up your person. Scam your person is what I'm hearing. It's a bad setup, some type of fraud setup involving money. Your past person and their past person is going to receive lots of karma because of this. It's like your person is going to go through karma because of the person they're dealing with. And this is what their karma is. For somebody here, you have to deal with a third party situation. Count your blessings, boo, because that third party was the karma that God sent for your person trying to violate you. Trying to cross you, lie on you, hate on you, envy. It's like someone committed the seven deadly sins against their own person, if that makes sense. This is going to leave also someone in debt with a whole lot of problems. I just heard there's a whole lot of money in this mother. You know what? I, <laughs> I don't know why I just heard that. Now, I'm going to go into more channel messages, which will be the next few videos I do. So I really hope this helps because I'm kind of pressed for time. May your neighbors respect you, trouble neglect you, angels protect you, and heaven accept you. It's time to tap, tap, tap out collective. And as always, peace be on to you.